Welcome back to Music News TV. This is Tim Hunt, and today's music news. Uh, music mogul Puff Daddy threw his, uh, I guess, his coin into the ring. He's interested in purchasing BET, that's Black Entertainment Television. As of last week, we have heard that uh, Tyler Perry from Tyler Perry Studios has announced his interest. He also have a minor minority share in the um, the, the movie, uh, the TV network that is. And also, uh, Byron Allen has expressed interest that he's interested in purchasing it. As you guys know, Byron Allen also owns Entertainment Studios. Now, all of these candidates are billionaires, black billionaires. And all of them have a great chance of actually acquiring BET, who is now wholly owned by uh, Viacom, which also owns MTV, as you know. Well, if this does come available, this opportunity does come available, and one of these guys are successful in acquiring the television network, I'm curious to know what you guys think as to who would be a more suitable candidate. If you look at it, Tyler Perry... Uh, and Tyler Perry Studios, he's an excellent businessman. But to be honest, his content is, I don't know. I mean, put it this way, um, it would be great if he diversified the creators of the content that he does, if he's going to do BET. But other than that, from what he's shown so far, he kind of had one particular way he creates content, and that's with him writing and, you know, pretty much directing everything from what I understand. Um, Byron Allen, on the other hand, he has a universal way of creating content. He, his way of looking at things is just more universal, uh, which is good for America, of course, in the world. Uh, but I don't know if that's a perfect fit for black and same in television. People go to BET because they're interested in black content. And I don't think that would be a good match. So when you think about it, Puff Daddy would probably be the only one that may bring us some great content and go back to his foundation of bringing you music-driven content as well. Um, I'm personally rooting for Puff Daddy on this one. Um, that's if he acquire it. At the end of the day, the network may be acquired by another bigger entity something like a CBS or something like that. <laughs> Who knows? But if one of those guys do get it, it'll be a very good thing. And I'm rooting for actually all three. But my personal favorite would, right now would be Puff Daddy, only because I think he would create content that's more suitable for the brand itself. In the meanwhile, we'll see. Check us out for musicnewstv.com for more information. You can check out the article as well on the, uh, Puff Daddy's interest. Also, you can subscribe and like this video. Come back for more. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for tuning in from MusicNewsTV.com.